someone will lose. Um, and I'm gonna, okay, you take the first, so I, you have some questions. I have a stack here. This one says, what is the purpose of telling stories? <laughs> oh, I'm glad they started out easy. <laughs> I, tell, I tell stories uh, for duplicity, so that <laughs> people will not blame me for things that I did. <laughs> That's how I learned, anyway. That's Hello. certainly how you learned. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I tell stories about... Uh, I mean, I'm going to try to just to say this for the last time, that we're all going to die and everything that we do will be forgotten. But, um, um, as, as McLeish said, I, I shall say that, that you will die and none shall remember you. Woo! Um, but, uh... Oh. Where was I going? Oh, <laughs> That is not a sad revelation to me. Um, the reason that I tell stories is, is that I, I think that it's helpful to both tell and read stories um, for us now, not in some attempt to like last forever or make a mark or anything like that. I just think that it's really helpful to me to, to read and write stories. I've said this before, but to me it is the way that I'm able to very occasionally transcend the limits of myself. You know, to get outside of myself. Whether I'm reading or writing, um, I can be drawn outside of myself to a greater extent than when I'm doing anything else. Great answer. <laughs> Thanks. Um, what is the most embarrassing memory of your childhood? Should I take this one since you just talked for a long time? Yeah. <laughs> when I was in middle school, uh, that's childhood, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, someone stole my milk. Oh. <laughs> Beginning of the story. Um, and then they, like, played keep away with it for a while. I know, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> and then, um, and then the, they, they, they made some sort of big switch and they gave me back what looked like to be my milk, but it was empty. Aww. Some, someone had swapped out an empty milk with, like, the little paper flap sealed back together. <laughs> they still use those little paper flaps? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> What is it about the world we can't have bottles? Okay, um, and, and then, and then I was like, Oh, I can't believe my life! And then somebody threw out what I thought to be the empty paper, and I went, Oh! And the cafeteria was covered in milk. <laughs> That was a bad day. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Get next. Uh, if you were to travel through a portal and end up either in, a, in Narnia or at Hogwarts, where would you go? Hogwarts! I mean, if I say, if I were to say anything other than Hogwarts, no, I, would, say Hogwarts. I would be attacked. No! <laughs> Narnia's freaking cool! I would think Narnia's cool! Much, much rather go to Hogwarts, where at least there is the opportunity to have some kind of romantic relationship. The ice cream's hot. I'm sorry, man. I think my chances of having a girlfriend are like way better than Hogwarts. <laughs> More nerdy girls at Hogwarts. Yeah. I think I would also go to Hogwarts just because I like this world, you know? I like this world, I'm a fan. Yeah. And, but it would just be like, this world but a little cooler. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole point of the book, really. Um, John, what would you do if a bear attacked you? Right now! He's over there! Watch out for bears! That was a well-timed uh, question. You love the bear. It reminds me of the... Speaking of things I don't like about Shakespeare. Uh, famous, uh... Famous Pick it on people who can't defend themselves. <laughs> Yeah, he never complains. Uh, <laughs> exit pursued by a bear is the greatest stage direction of all time. Uh, no, you, uh, you, you raise your hands, you get as big as possible, um, and you make, you make a lot of noise to say, bear, I am, I mean, I'll eat you if you come at me. <laughs> well, that's the first step, but the, in this question, the bear attacked you already. Wait a wait a No, that was actually incorrect. I'm from Montana where there are bears. <laughs> 
first what you do is you go, oh, I'm a big man. <laughs> And then, uh, then you lay down and play that, and then it's like, oh, never mind. And then if it goes away, you're good. If it starts to eat you, <laughs> stop playing dead and punch it in the face a lot. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole story. <laughs> I know you guys don't have to worry about that so much if it gets to me, but that's just in case. Yeah, I know that this audience of New Yorkers is so grateful. <laughs> what to do when they encounter a bear in the corner of 86th and Columbus. <laughs> Dear John, a, a squirrel, what do you do when you're being attacked by a squirrel? You kill it! God, you guys are wussies! <laughs> uh, what is your, what is your, what is your, what is your least favorite word? I like all the words. No, I mean, the least favorite oh, word is a word that I cannot say in public. Four letters. No, 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 nothing else. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, how, how much, how much, how, no heckling. <laughs> how much can you bench? <laughs> I'm using the question, bench is a noun. How much can you uh, bench press on a, on a bench press? I would not know the answer to that question having never, ever, 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 ever in my life done that. <laughs> Say nerd fighter backwards, no practicing. Ren. <laughs> Ren. That is incorrect. <laughs> it's Red Gift Ren. Oh, I forgot the middle part. <laughs> got How long does it take you, Hank, to make your average Vlog Brothers video? This is for both of us, I guess. Um, from making, like, figuring out what I'm going to write about to making the video. Uh, probably like a combined six hours. Yeah, I spent a, like eight, eight hours on a video usually. I started around 8.30 and then upload at 4.30. I usually start at like four days beforehand, but I just mix it up, spread it out more. Yeah. <laughs> um, great question. <laughs> was very what is your favorite thing about Nerd Fighters? Besides this. <laughs> oh, including this. The miss. Oh. <laughs> this isn't even nearly my favorite thing. Oh, okay. I mean, I love this, but my favorite, my favorite thing is, like, so well, there are a lot of people in the audience who have no idea what a nerd fighter is, and I'm sure that this has been an awkward evening for you, but, uh, uh, Hank, and I, Hank and I are part of a community of people um, who watch uh, these videos that we make, and then also do a lot of awesome stuff around the world and are committed to what we call decreasing world suck. And my favorite thing every year that we do is not something that happens in real life because I have too much social anxiety to enjoy real life. <laughs> um, my, favorite, my favorite thing is uh, when we all come together every December and make videos about our favorite nonprofits and then raise money for charity. Woo! Uh, speaking of which, what, do you, what would you suggest that teens do to help decrease world suck, Hank? Okay? Um, I've always found that one of the primary things that helps me decrease world tech is understanding the world. So that's a good start, um, and that does involve school and reading a lot and watching QI, yeah. which is available for free on YouTube if you live in America. Yeah. So just search for quite interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, we're both big believers <laughs> in celebrating um, celebrating intellectualism and celebrating the idea that, like. Being a, a nerd, which has so long been taken as an insult, is one of the nicest things that someone can say about you. Um, because basically they're saying... <laughs> it's essentially someone saying, like, congratulations on being an informed and educated and thoughtful citizen. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, th thanks. Um, so, I, I, I do believe that that decreases world suck. Understanding world suck decreases world suck. But I'd also recommend volunteering. Also, tonight you can donate to This Star Won't Go Out, the charity that Esther's family set up. Uh, and uh, your donations up to $500 will be matched by us tonight. So over uh, where the merch is, where you can buy Hank's CDs and, um, and also my books, you'll also see this large uh, bucket. If you put bucket in that money, it will go to uh, <laughs> bucket, in, bucket in that money. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, what should I
should I name my cat? asks Eleanor. What should you name your cat? Yeah. That's from Eleanor. Thanks, Eleanor. <laughs> People, I've, I have a feeling that the timer is getting awfully close, so maybe you should answer this one. <laughs> I have no thoughts. <laughs> Jeff. Do you attribute YouTube to party? <laughs> Do you attribute YouTube to party your success? No cheating! <laughs> cheating <laughs> shocks! I didn't cheat. <laughs> well, that's a question for you, clearly. <laughs> no, you're successful as well. <laughs> it says authorial success. Uh, okay, I'll answer that question. Um, do I attribute YouTube to part of my authorial success? Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, certainly, YouTube has been an amazing way to reach out to tons and tons of new readers and people who love reading, and that's been awesome. It's also a way to tell you guys that we're going to be here, which is nice, because otherwise you might not have come. Um, so, I do definitely think that it has helped. Hey! <laughs> Would you like to ask a question of the audience? Would I like to ask them a question? We're out of, we're out of questions. Raise your hands. Do you have a question? Yes? Do you have a favorite video that the other brother has made? Favorite video that John has made? There's like 900! <laughs> My favorite Hank video is Helen Hunt because I didn't even know he could play the guitar when he uploaded that. <laughs> I really don't want to start talking right now. <laughs> My favorite John video is about puppies. <laughs> it's I'm very nervous! It's very close. Oh, it's not. Keep talking. Ask another question. Oh. Uh, A rule. You talked last! It's not my fault. I'm two for two. I love not getting shot. <laughs>